Hello and welcome to I Choose You, the podcast about cooking and eating Pokemon. My name is Jeremy Zielik. I'm the host and Alton Brown of the group. Joining me this week, as always, is... The friend of the show, Ben Montoya. Ian Davis, the Jerry Versi of the show. And punching it up a notch, Evan Aubrey. Oh, Oh, shit. So Evan... Evan told us he got a little sunburned today, or was it yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. And and the light is shining on his face right now. Oh. Um, <laughs> and so he's got to cool off with, what are you drinking? I got a uh, Almanac Beer Company Fruit Punch Sour Nova. Oh, what's the <laughs> A lot of nouns. <laughs> it's a lot of nouns. Oh, no, it's Almanac Beer Company Barrel Age Fruit Punch Sour Nova Tart Refreshing Real Fruit. <laughs> That's even more <laughs> nouns. Holy shit. Um, is, it, too. is it tart and refreshing? It's delicious. It's got uh, nectarines, peaches, hibiscus, and vanilla. Whoa. Jeez, there's a lot pretty, of stuff there. Got to admit, sounds pretty good. Okay. We got to back up a little bit and say this is LaCroix Poys, Poys, Boys. We're poised podcast. for LaCroix Boys. Yeah. <laughs> LaCroix Poys is when you uh, drink your LaCroix with your pinky up. Yes. Um, the podcast within a podcast about cracking open a cold one and drinking it with your boys. Um, obviously... <laughs> Evan has delighted us with his uh, Tart Nova or whatever it's called. Um, <laughs> Ian and uh, uh, Ben, do you have anything to share with the class this week? Good show. Yeah. Oh, a, a, a glass, glass of water? Glass of water. <laughs> tall glass of water. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Ian, do you got... Uh, ben, sorry, excuse me. I keep seeing Ian's name on the Skype call. I have an even taller glass of water, <laughs> except it's a bottle. Wow. Yeah. No, we're just drinking regular old flat water over here. All right. all right. Sometimes it's all you need. Being hydrated. Mm-hmm. But sometimes what you do actually need is a novelty soda, which <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking this week. So one day uh, I was uh, goofing off uh, at work on the internet, as one does, oh, um, my during God, downtime. And um, I saw someone tweet that Jones, the soda company, made a hatch green chili and a lime flavored soda. So that's what I got here today. Jones Hatch Green Chili Lime Flavored Soda. So I don't know how this is going to go. I will say when I opened the box today to get it out and, mm-hmm. uh, you know, procure one, there's uh, <laughs> 12 There's twelve bottles of soda in it. And when I cut oh. it open, I could smell the green chili flavor, Whoa. like, coming out of the box. Is as it I like scratch it. and sniff cardboard? I don't, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Good. So what the I'm gonna hell are you using to open it. Yeah, what is it? A, is that a can opener? <laughs> it is a can opener. With a bottle has, opener attachment. Yeah, yeah, it has a bottle opener attachment. <laughs> it's like you got like a wrench. <laughs> yeah. And this lid is kind of small. There you go. Yeah, twi- mu- twi- yeah. It's a twist off, Jeremy. Twist off. <laughs> <laughs> Much like the Counting Crows, uh, it's mm. Mr. Jones and him. <laughs> All right. Okay, so question: Is it cold? Um, it, it's, it is, it is cool, not super cold because I'd, uh, bring it over get a here. cup of ice. No, I have a cup of regular water in case this is nasty, which is highly likely. Jeremy, um, have you ever drinking a soda in your life? You need yes. ice. It needs to be cold. That's part of the soda yeah. Jeremy, experience. Go, go get some ice. We'll cover it for you. No, no. I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to raw dog it. No. Jeremy, no. You're going to be warm tainted. dog it. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. It smells like green chili. I can't deny it. <laughs> It doesn't really taste like anything. What? Uh, Not even lime? It doesn't taste like anything. How does it smell like green chili? But I think you need a bigger glug. Okay. I'm going to glug again. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think the ice would help in this situation. Okay. (laughs) Glugging a few of these too if you had my wife. I don't know. It just doesn't really taste like anything. I don't know how to describe it. Jeremy, you drink fucking LaCroix. It has to taste like something. <laughs> <laughs> it really has to taste like something. I really, there's not even like answer. a little bit of spice on the back end? Like, I, No. I'm sorry um, to say it, Jeremy, but I think he got COVID again. Yep. Yeah. Lost the taste. <laughs> you lost it, bud. <laughs> I had some spicy guacamole today. I don't know how. Maybe it and, it was, and it was flavorful. I had that kick to it. This... I could smell. I could smell. Kind of smells like green chili, but it doesn't even really like taste like lime. Like, yeah, let us let us know ice. by the time you reach the end of the bottle. Okay. If you have a different opinion. Do, do you want me to try? I'll try. We'll try one more glug for yeah, you. Yeah, but act, but don't take like you're taking like a little little sip. Yeah, I no more no, slips here. I want to. I want to. As far as I'm concerned, that looks like a full bottle. Yeah, it's make true. It, make it look 
Get it to the label. Get it. To I want to. I want to hear yeah. the glug on Mike. Yeah, give me the glug. I see. I see the bubbles going. Okay, that's something. No, not quite there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me chunk a soda <laughs> on an audio medium. Well, it would be probably better to drink consistently if it was colder. No, that's not the problem, Ben. The problem is it doesn't really taste like anything. <laughs> Oh, no. co- cold is, is to soda like, as salt is to food. It like brings out the flavor. I, I don't know if that's so true the, or not, but I feel like sometimes we make a joke on the show where it's like, oh, we get we make a really good joke, and then we're like, pack it up, boys, like let's go. This is the exact opposite of that. This is Jeremy <laughs> fucking flopping right now. And we, we have to cancel this show. This well, it's show. funny because like you want me to drink it, and you're like, oh, it tastes great, or oh, it's like not being honest with us, he's lying to us. Yeah, I'm not I mean, lying. It it just kind of doesn't taste like anything. You can't hold a bottle that looks like fucking antifreeze. <laughs> Tell me it smells like chilies, <laughs> and then it tastes like nothing. <laughs> it's kind of just like slightly sweet carbonated water. Like that's yeah. the most I can give you. I just want to apologize to all the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. your just your up, Alton man. Brown is blind. <laughs> this is like when Alton Brown made that really bad tweet. Yeah. Yes, actually, that's exactly what this <laughs> is. This is Jeremy's bad tweet moment. Yeah, <laughs> this is my heated uh, cooking moment uh, when I drank this soda and I said it didn't really taste like I, I. Look, if if you'd picked up the sodas, you would know that. Right now, at this moment. No, it's not your. Soda. It's not your God. fault. I'm just saying, if you pick them up and you, you and Ian had them, it would you would see what I'm talking about, which is it kind of just tastes like sweet carbonated water. You're canceled. <laughs> <laughs> L plus ratio. <laughs> take, take the L. Fine. You know what? I will fucking take the L because you know what? This photo isn't as good as I hoped. Yeah, wow. and you got 12 more. <laughs> you got, you I got do. more. <laughs> you can ship one to me if you want. Yeah, I'll just stick it in an envelope and send it over to California. Put a stamp That's on it. Yeah. 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 Jeremy, go to the <laughs> pneumatic tube. <laughs> God, look, apparently, I learned this recently. You can mail potatoes. Like, you yes. can you can put a stamp on one, you can just put it in your mailbox, and they will deliver it. Yep. Completely appropriate. Wild. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. This this soda is not really giving me... I kind of want this to taste like salsa, if you know what I mean, right? No, I don't. I want you to just say that it tastes like soda, first of all. Like, it has to be some sugar in there. I said it's a little sweet. It's like sweet carbonated water. That's what it tastes like. Maybe it's a dud. Go open a different one. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have another one with me right now. Oh, oh gosh! It's gonna be like it's gonna be like signs. He's gonna have like half open bo- or half yes. drank bottles all around his room. <laughs> the most stressful Lacroix voice ever. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Look, I'm gonna just tell the Jones Soda Company that they're maybe they were too scared that people would drink a soda and it would be spicy, and they backed off on the capsaicin content kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? The, the we'll Jones see. fan base is just a bunch of wusses. Is what yeah. I hear. We'll get, we'll get a, a bigger sounding board on this uh, next week, I think. So stay tuned look, for the but, Jones Soda Cream Chili Lime Soda Review Part 2. Yeah, we'll all do it next week. And then Ian and Ben are going to be like, wow, Jeremy, you're so right and insightful. Wow, this and describing... like absolutely nothing. Just like everything else I drink. What <laughs> the fuck? God. <laughs> are you criticizing my taste in beverages? <laughs> Oh, yeah. well, LaCroix literally tastes like nothing. That's literally what it tastes like. So this has significantly more flavor, I assume, than LaCroix. Not really. Jeez. Again, it's it, you can taste that sugar in it. It's sweet. Like, there is that. But it doesn't really taste like anything. What if you, like, poured a little bit out into your hand and drink it off your skin? <laughs> Maybe it needs mm. to, like... Activate. Marinate. <laughs> yeah, to, to oxygenate a little bit. Maybe yeah. if I get, like, a salt rim on this tiny Give little a... opening... Do you have like a decanter you can pour it into? <laughs> yeah, like a little like wine aerator. Yeah, you gotta let it breathe. You gotta let the soda breathe. What are the legs like on that soda? <laughs> None. It doesn't have any like there's no aftertaste. That's the other thing, is like usually when you eat something spicy, it has like like you 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 bite into it or it goes into your mouth. And you're like, oh, that's not too bad. Then like 10 seconds later, you're like, oh, it's got a kick to it, like in the back end kind of situation. I'm getting none of that from here. There's no overtones, there's no undertones, there's no fucking tones at all. Well, I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to this letdown of a LaCroix voice. I, 
You are. I got this. This was a fucking birthday present. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I should be the one who's crying here. Yeah, I'm trying to look up like definitive reviews of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aren't many, which tells me it must taste exactly like it's fucking advertised. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, that's LaCroix Boys. Very sad. Thumbs down. Um, but that's okay. Because you know what? It's time to go into the meat of the show. I Choose You, the podcast about cooking and eating Pokemon. Each week, we randomly select a new Pokemon to cook and prepare for one another. We present our best, most delicious recipes. And then we decide in a very democratic and legal fashion, whose is the most delicious. Um, this week, we're cooking Corsola. I won last week's show, but I just had a soda-based diatribe. So I think I'm going to hand it off to somebody else, uh, perhaps. Let's say Ian starts this week. You'd like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so in the moments I spent looking at Corsola mm -hmm. and trying to find a recipe, you know, went for the classic coral recipes. Mm -hmm. Is coral Wait. edible? And definitively... Classic? It, it's not. Edible. Everyone said no. <laughs> there was there were not e not even a single freak that was like, yeah, you can't. <laughs> not even a single freak. No freaks out there. Yeah, <laughs> where are my freaks at? Oh, nowhere to be fucking found. Jeremy. Yeah, well, it's, coral is kind of like a tough shell for the polyps. Like it's not the actual animal itself. It's like the, the casing that the animal lives in. It builds like a house for itself. Also like full of toxins. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I can get why it's not really on the top of like the, the hot cuisine kind of situation. Nothing we do here is, but I, I, at least I can find something, someone <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> right. At least asking questions, right? Yeah. We're just here to ask questions. Yeah. Mm. I'm kind of a scientist that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, what I did conclude is, um, like, coral does have calcium in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I also learned in these moments of my research, uh, you do need calcium water in, a, in order to make jam. Calcium oh. water? Yeah, or pectin. Oh, mm. all right. Wow. I'll tell you that word. It's like a calcium slurry. Mm -hmm. Basically, <laughs> slurry. Ian, you better slurry me up. Never say that. <laughs> <laughs> slurry with a fringe on top. Ooh, yes. There we go. <laughs> so, Excuse me, uh, but I, I just say a slurry. Jeez, uh, uh, no wonder you're canceled on this episode. <laughs> yeah. Keep it up. I'm making jelly. Mm. I'm making Corsola watermelon jelly. Oh, Whoa. interesting. Wow. Why watermelon? Um, think about it. And does Corsola look like a watermelon? It's pink. Oh, okay. <laughs> and round. And round. I mean, it's and tropical. Round and tropical. Mm. Well, it's kind of like, you know, like a, uh, mm, I can't find it. What fruit is pink? Like, is a dragon fruit pink? pink? Uh -huh. it's raspberries? Yeah. Well, raspberries are more on the red side. Depends. Watermelon. And watermelon. On the, yes, on the inside. Do you think if you cut open a Corsola, if it's a watermelon, the inside is green? Well, no. Oh, reverse. No. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm picturing like, what if you took a watermelon? Uh -huh. and, you cut, and you cut it the, the long ways, like, and pull just the shell off the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it was... Paint that blue. <laughs> it's a Corsola. <laughs> paint it blue. Or paint the Corsola green. Yeah. <laughs> um, six cups of pureed watermelon. You want to remove the seeds. Mm -hmm. Five cups of white sugar. Mm-hmm. Half cup bottled or fresh lemon juice, and then a packet of powdered porcelain pectin. Hmm. Nice. Um, combine watermelon puree, sugar, lemon juice in a large non reactive pot. Anything but aluminum. Get one bigger than you think. You'll want plenty of space for the things to foam up without overflowing. Hmm. Into a boil and let it boil vigorously until the temperature hits 220. Um, Add the powdered 
porcelain, calcium, pectin, water, uh, and then let that boil for another five minutes. Take that off the heat, put it in that sterile jar, um, screw that shit tight, and <laughs> um, stick it in a, in a boiling water bath for 10 minutes to really uh-huh. uh, you know, get rid of the, the bad stuff. And then um, let it cool. Mm-hmm. Maybe right. get a piece of toast. Yeah. Maybe uh, a waffle. Oh, oh waffle. shit! Ooh. Interesting. Do you usually put jam on your waffles or jelly? I would. I wouldn't not. You know what I'm okay. saying. Okay. I would say that I uh, a good um, we we were talking before about uh, like peanut butter snacks. I think mm-hmm. that was that just last week. That was last mm-hmm. week. Um, another peanut butter life hack that I'm going to throw at you right now: Eggo waffles go in the toaster. Peanut butter and jelly with the finished Eggo waffles makes Ooh. for an excellent breakfast, I will say. Yeah. I don't know. Like, what is your stance on eating the frozen Eggo waffles? I was a big frozen waffle guy. Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh Eggo waffles? Well, <laughs> like, as opposed to toasted. Yeah, just cold. Oh. oh. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> like, like, I thought you meant just cold. like the frozen ones, but like when you heat them up. <laughs> but, no, 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 no. I'm, talk- I'm talking about like pulling it straight out of the freezer and taking a my bite. God. You did that? Oh, they're delicious. What? <laughs> you're kidding. What? No, you're, you're, you're fucking what? kidding. <laughs> what? What is going on this episode? Soda tastes like nothing and frozen waffles are perfectly fine to eat? Heaven canceled. <laughs> Apparently. It's just, it's just me and Ben now. Two out of four left. <laughs> Jeez. By the end of this episode, we all have to be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So are you saying Evan eating frozen Eggo waffles cold is is his most cancelable opinion? That's his oh, bad absolutely. tweet. Yeah, yeah, that's my bad Evan tweet. Evan on Twitter and said, I love crunching into ice-cold waffles. <laughs> extra, extra heart, heart, waffle, eggplant. Everyone would fucking... They'd... L plus ratio. What more do yeah. I have to say? They would down that so hard. <laughs> Yeah. Would this would would your jelly uh, be good on frozen waffles? If the waffle is good, then yes. I just wasn't it icy. <laughs> no, it's so it's like in you know it's prepackaged you know state right. It's in the it's in the thing. You pull it out. It's like it's it's a little bit harder. It's like when people freeze thin mints, right? Like it's basically the same phenomenon. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it is fully cooked and never really thought about it. <laughs> it is, exactly. In my mind, a frozen Eggo waffle is a, a rock. It, like, you can't bite through it. That's... Oh, no, they're not that hard. They're really it's not. Like a, there's there's it's some like chemical a... compound in it that keeps it from, from being entirely frozen. I was, I was thinking it was like a discus, where it's like so ho- dense and heavy, you like throw it at a track and field event. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you do the like the like 360 like turn around and then shot yes. put it. <laughs> not quite. But anyway, sorry to, to derail that and get canceled at the same time. <laughs> anyway, um, watermelon chili. Watermelon okay. chili, of course, wow. style. Of course, I pull like ties it all together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. This seems like the kind of toast you might get at like a um, uh, uh, what am I Margaritaville. At a mm-hmm. Margaritaville, mm-hmm. I can imagine that you could get toast with watermelon jam. Oh, yeah, so where does Jerry Garcia come in? Mm. Uh, jam band. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the best I could fucking do. I looked at Fuck. And <laughs> 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 you were like, Jerry Garcia. No, I, I searched famous coral. <laughs> I even went to the, the fucking Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> I would uh, say that's probably the most famous coral. But I couldn't find <laughs> You know the inventor of it. <laughs> <laughs> we started coral. <laughs> he starts like filing through a, a cabinet, and he finds a patent for coral, and he pulls it out, and just says "God" on it. <laughs> I would I would serve this this jelly here in Albuquerque because mm. Um, mm. perhaps I'd call it Corsola Sandia. Mm. Yeah, maybe it has a little red chili in there. Oh, oh, baby! And uh, have that on some toast. Get your uh, your. Is there is it a special kind of toast or just regular toast? Uh, it's rye. Okay, interesting. Oh. <laughs> and okay, then you have your morning beer next to you because <laughs> when the sandias are pink, it's time to fucking drink. There you oh. go. 
<laughs> you said it was the morning. Yeah, but the, the, the it could be pink is, in the morning. Okay. Jelly is. So it's <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I see. What you, I see. I see. <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll lay it's off. Really yeah. together. I'm. Yeah. I'm pretty sold. But, yeah, that sounds real good. All right. Well, well, we've got an uphill battle for the rest of us. Um, so <laughs> Ben, why don't you cancel? Yeah, mm, Ben, yeah. what's your recipe this week? And well, Ian, I want to point out that it was your recipe, but it was Evan that got canceled. So yeah, apparently, <laughs> it's like if I just made like a very reasonable tweet, and then Evan just like went in the comments with some crazy shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly what this was. Wow. If 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 it was like if Ian tweeted, I love jelly, and then Evan uh, that was really a sub tweet at me. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And, and Evan quote tweeted as like, fuck that shit. Frozen waffles forever. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, can't wait to uh, fans look out for the episode of the Joe Rogan podcast where Jeremy and Evan are. They're <laughs> <laughs> telling me you eat the Pokemon. Have you, have you guys ever heard about this? Have, yeah, you, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, Oh my god, uh, Ben, you got a follow up for that? Uh, I'll try. I will try. Um, so, oh man. Um, so I, uh, <laughs> I was looking at Corsola. Obviously, it's a super cute Pokemon, um, and I enjoy that. Like the variation of it is like a frowny face. It's like the exact face that it's making, but just like turned upside down. The, cl um, the climate change Corsola. Right. Exactly. Mm. This is the the form of the coral that is withering and sad. Um, and I, I wanted to kind of use uh, both of them. Um, and what I ended up putting together is uh, tapio corsola, oh. uh, pink jelly coconut pudding. Wow. <laughs> well, we got two jellies in there. The jelly. There's, yeah. a, there's a jelly, but it's, part of the pudding. It's like a pudding cup and the bottom half is pudding, so it's white. And the top half is pink and it's mm. like jelly. It's those it yogurts looks, you mix together. Kind of like the corsola. Yeah, it looks like the corsola. Does it come in like a round cup? It comes in a round cup um, and it has little tapioca balls on top of it that kind of mm -hmm. look like the coral poking up. Oh, like the little, little jellies maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna love this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Take me there. <laughs> well, so I was looking at the, you know, pointy bits of uh, regular corsola, and I was thinking that they kind of looked like roots, quite honestly. Mm. Um, and so then, you know, tapioca is made from uh, cassava root. It's mm. like, you know, they they uh, boil it and process it, and um, then make it into a dough. Cut it, mash it. Put it in the dough. Put it in the dough. Exactly. Well, I mean, a pudding is kind of like a cold stew, if you think about it. Um, no. <laughs> uh, I'm not on that one, say no. I'm not even going to consider it. Um, so, <laughs> because you're canceled. Um, so, oh, fuck, I'm uh, canceled again. Yeah, Jeremy's canceled and blocked on this episode. Yes. I don't see his shit at all. Yeah. Yes. Put up the cancel counter. Yes. The, the, the <laughs> last fucking Ben walks out onto the field and he holds up a red card and it's just my face with like a cross through it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, but anyway, you're so you're in this situation, you're gonna treat um Corsola's uh coral toppings as cassava roots. So you're just gonna pluck it off, which according to the Volopedia page, um says that that's perfectly perfectly reasonable. It'll grow back. <laughs> Okay, about three good. days. Yeah, so you don't even have to really think about the whole, like, oh, I'm killing the environment kind of thing. You can just pluck it, and it'll all grow back. Mm -hmm. um, so then uh, that's what you're going to use to make your little tapioca balls. Um, the jelly, on the other hand, the jelly and the pudding um, are going to use some uh, agar powder in this recipe. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Our reality, we're just going to be using some uh, of the ghost Galarian um, Corsola, mm -hmm. our gelatinous um, substances. And so the pink um, 
uh, version of this is going to have like a dragon fruit type um, flavoring added, like the like juice added to the uh, um, the agar. <clears throat> It'll be more like translucent. And the other one you're going to add coconut milk to, and you're mm -hmm. going to put that into a little bit of a pudding consistency too. Um, oh, and I should just say the reason why the ghost is is just like gelatinous is because it's full of ectoplasm apparently ah there you go nice so <laughs> so you say you're you saying that the 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 ghost like <laughs> excretions make it extra jiggly yes that's exactly <laughs> what I'm i mean you have to kind of whip it up right so you're you're you beat out most of the supernatural effects of the ectoplasm but mm -hmm. that is what gives it the like sticky quality or the you know gelatinous quality mm -hmm. Um, and then you're going to, yeah, prepare your uh, little cups, you know, like see-through cups, obviously, so you can see the different layers. <clears throat> you're going to plop in the white layer, the coconut layer. You're going to plop in the uh, dragon fruit layer on top, and then a little corsel of uh, tapioca bits. And then serve it up. It's a nice, you know, refreshing dessert treat. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of punching up the tapioca pudding element. Mm -hmm. I love it's that. not a snack pack. It's like you know more of a high end restaurant. It's like, like a experience. tall glass, mm -hmm. yes. like a like a parfait glass or something. Yeah, yeah, it's made of glass. Well, I was thinking it also circular though. So like, you know, oh, like sure. Yeah, you get like twenty ounces of it. <clears throat> twenty ounces sounds like a lot, but you could share maybe. Oh, maybe that's like one of the options for like a dinner for two kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh dear, you haven't touched any of your pudding. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> would you um would you serve this with maybe a um like a white chocolate or vanilla uh what do they call those pirouettes or the, the straws? Like cookie straws. Oh those cookie straws? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that would be good. Yes, I could I could see that. Yeah. Although it's it's more pudding than it is like sorbet. So I don't know. I mean maybe yeah, it's would, that's probably still good. I think you drink maybe the pudding like, through a straw. Not like the dipping element, but maybe just like as an extra crunch to kind mm -hmm. of like a texture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like it's works. kind of separate, but uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of people's big beef thing. with like tapioca based products is that it kind of it can get kind of mushy. So I think having that uh, there would be a decent uh, kind of experience. Yeah. All right. So, there you go. Love tapioca salad. All right, Evan, give us your recipe, and hopefully it will invoke such a response from Ben and Ian that they, too, can get canceled this week. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if we, Yeah, if we achieve all four for four on one episode, that'd be pretty impressive. Uh, well, Ben, it's it's interesting that you mentioned roots, uh, because I, too, was thinking that Corsola was kind of the root of the sea. Uh, <laughs> and, and and you know what else is made from roots? Uh, we're, we're making this week some Corsicola, but it's more like root beer. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, so you're you're breaking off those little Corsola uh, stemmy bits, uh, and that kind of acts as your, your sassafras, sarsaparilla sort of substitute. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to add in some ginger, a little bit of licorice, a little bit of dandelion root, uh, and you kind of, yeah, you boil that all together with your various, like, herbs and spices and things, some star anise, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then, yeah, once that's that's done, you get kind of like a, a pinkish cola. Ooh, wow. Interesting. Ooh, yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. OK. I want to add uh, like a little Italian whipped cream on top. Oh, you <laughs> like totally could. Like an Italian could. soda, and then uh -huh. it fits the color scheme again. Yeah, get a little like drizzle going on on top or something. Ooh, oh, man. yeah. Do you, guys, See, this do you have is... like a guy flipping like glasses around, making your uh, uh, drink your oh, soda? Absolutely. Yes. See, yeah. Jeremy, this is how you fucking talk about soda, okay? This is what soda is. <laughs> you didn't this, say anything. This is what it is. <laughs> First Not of all, soda is imaginary, so you could be like, oh, it's so <laughs> sweet and delicate, just like the sea flowing into your mouth. And I, At least it tastes I think, like something. God. I think it's, I've been, I'm giving you a taste of reality. <laughs> this soda doesn't taste very good. Or it doesn't taste like anything. Um, what is... In your opinion, the best root beer. Whoa, the best. Mm. Ooh, uh, Virgil's root beer is really good. It is. Yeah. That's the Big. one that pops to my mind immediately, where it's like 
I, I don't drink a lot of root beer. I don't drink a lot of soda generally, but if I were to buy root beer, it'd be that one because they're they're pretty darn tasty. Yeah, definitely. Um, and and you know your your subpar kind of trashy trashy root beer mug is always a, a good option. Ooh, man, uh, if I'm if I'm at a Taco Bell and not feeling a Baja Blast, I'll usually go for a mug. Oh dang! I, <laughs> maybe this is controversial. Oh um, shit! He's about to get canceled. Oh yeah, say it, say it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I don't have it as often, but I think I'd put bark. Mm, oh yeah, that's good. Bark's that's pretty that's good. a norm. That's a normal opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy's like about Not to careful. slap the big red button. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But no, bark's is bark's is excellent. Yes, with a Q, you love, love that. Here. I don't know. Uh, if I've bark's had... is. I was just gonna say I don't know if I've had enough variety of root beer recently to be able to judge which one's my favorite maybe we need to do a blind root beer tasting oh yeah. that would be interesting that would be really interesting. and then just put the the green chili soda in the middle and just yeah. say this one tastes like nothing and... <laughs> yeah it's, it's, a, it's a palate cleanser yeah right. you, guys, you guys think i'm like lying to you but i'm not that's all i'm saying jeremy i know how you work this is 100 percent <laughs> jeremy gaslight moment okay <laughs> <laughs> this root beer is like the most spicy like burn your ass out uh beverage yeah and jeremy's like barely he to get, he's like I know. this is gonna pay off when i tell them that this just tastes like nothing right. and doesn't they, taste like anything they, they doesn't <laughs> <work down. laughs> yeah this soda is a real ass blaster and i'm just hiding it super well <laughs> and it's got a big diaper on <laughs> yes. <that> <laughs> oh. Um, Evan, right. so you're, it's of course a cola. It, does it taste like a cola or does it taste like something else? It's, it's definitely, so it's, it's going to be a little more gingery, a little more root mm -hmm. beer on, on the root beer side of things, but it's mm -hmm. a, a lighter color. So yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's like almost a ginger beer, more, mm -hmm. more the ginger beer than a root beer, I'd say. Okay. Uh, but right. I like, I like the idea of taking it in the Italian soda direction for, for more of a desserty vibe. Excellent. I just yeah. have to say it from a wordplay perspective. It's like this Pokemon was meant to be turned into some sort of cola. Absolutely. Of course it was. Of course it was. <laughs> well, I, okay. Well, let's uh, let's uh, let's continue with my recipe. Okay. It's... Evan, you just had your uh, fiance graduate. Um, Mm. So I'm sure you've uh, been doing a lot of celebrating around uh, oh. uh, recently. And and I feel like we can celebrate in a very special way this week with uh, a, a type of cake, a special type of cake. And I'm going to call it this week. We're going to pop the corksula to make <laughs> our pink champagne cake. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. So, Whoa. Okay. So I'm going to see if I can get a picture of this sent to you guys. But in the meantime, so uh, a champagne cake is basically, you know, it, it's one of those things where you like you put champagne in there to make it like extra moist uh, kind of situation. Um, and and the, the one I was looking for recipes and I found one that was pink and white. So it's the color of Corsola. So I think this is going to be really, uh, really up your alley here uh, for for the recipe. Um, Ooh, so fancy. Basic. S uh, s simple like uh, cake ingredients, um, but we're gonna add uh, a gla um, a cup of uh, champagne to uh, the uh, the recipe. And I'm gonna say, Corsola, I kind of agree with you guys. You grind it up as like a uh, kind of like baking powder substitute to give mm. it that structural integrity um, mm. kind of thing. I don't really see it as the uh, champagne itself, so we'll use normal champagne, but we'll use the Corsola to give, you know, a cake that nice kind of dense, moist, uh, really like flavorful and keep everything in there kind of experience. Mm -hmm. um, so you make that, you make your, you make your four sheet cakes. Uh, they're all pink. Uh, you're going to make the uh, buttercream, which is white. Um, you're going to layer up the uh, cakes, put the buttercream in whatever design you like. I was thinking of maybe make, this is obviously a regular looking cake that I sent you guys, but uh, <laughs> uh, uh, a cake that, um, where the bottom was white and maybe the top was pink would i think get really going and then you can have like candles uh coming out to represent Ooh. the the parts of Ooh. the corsola 
that are uh, that are more elevated from the rest of its body. So we're gonna pop the corksula with this champagne cake. Wait, so you said it? Sorry, you said the this is like sh- the, it's not champ. The corksula is not the champagne. It's more of yes. the baking soda. Yes. So are you, are you taking like a microplane to it to like get it into a, a powdery form and just like grinding it down? <laughs> it, it comes like that in the store is what oh, I'm I saying. See. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to think about it. You just... No, you don't have to think about it. Like everything in the store where it's like, wow, <laughs> beef gizzards. I love that. And then I just buy it and eat <laughs> don't it. Think about it. <laughs> yeah, don't think about it. All right, Ian, go ahead. How do you get the skull shit off? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Let me tell you, Ian. You just kind of like pull at it <laughs> if you get a pair of scissors that's all i have okay. <laughs> you want me to say I, the I name was, again i was just gonna say that like um like similarly to what i thought with evan's recipe like corsola is like so cake aesthetic mm-hmm. like, it really is there I, I love the candles the thing okay. that i was thinking about when you were saying champagne was like using its coral as like a corkscrew just kind of like, oh. just like, and then pop it off um, in like kind of a Flintstones way. It's like mm-hmm. a little bit. Um, it's a rock. Yeah. <laughs> How about this? Still pop the corksula pink champagne cake, but it's a champagne cake pop and it looks like a corksula. Oh, and you got stuff coming out. Oh, yes. that's pretty good. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. I need what that if- at a Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> What if it's the cake, but instead of candles, it's the Corsola cake pops. Oh, they're sticking <laughs> out of it. Tiny cake on top of big cake. I like yes. it. Whoa. Whoa. It's like but a fractal. The, yeah, Holy and shit. on the cake pops are even tinier cake pops. <laughs> okay, so actually that's a really good point. I feel like if more people had cake pop, like cake pops available as well as cake, I'd be more into eating the cake pops versus the cake at events, weddings, and whatnot. Yeah. I'm not a cake person at all, but like if there were little cake pops in a cake, I would just pluck that. You, you I, know, I, cake I pops are still cake, thing. right? Well, yeah, but like it's it's such a more like consumable experience. My my right. thing what that is, I don't like about cake is that there's so much of it. Usually, they give you a big old slice, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm never going to eat all of this. Am I so, allowed to cancel Ben for cake? <laughs> <laughs> Cancel. Drop the gavel. As soon as the button is pressed, a like a trapdoor opening needs (laughs) beneath Ben and he falls into the studio of Joe Rogan. (laughs) True hell. Uh, uh, Any other cake pop thoughts? I guess that was kind of a hot take. I just can't comprehend how you're like, you know, the issue is that the people who serve me this out of kindness get the portions wrong. <laughs> God, it's not at all what I'm saying. I'm it's, all like the in, it's like the inverted Jewish grandma joke where it's like, Ben's like, the portions, they're so large. <laughs> <laughs> okay, God damn it. Now I'm getting really canceled because I have to <laughs> jump on the mic. Listen, let me tell you what I really think. But um, the thing is, when you're at an event, uh, you know, maybe it's even just Easter or a birthday party or a wedding, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's always a big amount of cake that they're trying to get rid of. You know, everyone's <laughs> everyone's trying to get a big slice because they want to use up all this cake, at least in my experience. In I, I am a... Not because they want people to enjoy the cake, because they want people to use it up. Yeah. They're, just, they're like, God damn it. Get rid of this cake as soon as possible. As a person who doesn't want a ton of cake, maybe I'll take a bite just to, like, have a little bit. But I'm not going to eat, like, a whole slice of cake. That's just me. But no one ever listens to me, okay? No one ever fucking listens. I'm like, I'll take a small one, and they give me a big old fucking slice. And I'm like, we're just wasting food now. So now I feel guilty, too. Not only do I feel, like, not the right person to, like, take this cake. I'm just like, I, I don't know what to do. So <laughs> what happens? Okay. I hope you tell it. the catering person this at Evan's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ben, I'll, at my wedding, I'll make sure to have a cake pop set aside just for you. Thank you. There you go. Here's my, here's my hot take on cake pop. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hot cake. The icing to cake ratio is way off. Mm-hmm, I agree. Oh, no, that, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any opinion on that. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Ian. You were the last to be voted off the island. <laughs> one survivor. Yes. Now I understand what it means to be truly canceled because all three of you 
the fucking woke mind virus over here. <laughs> that cake pods did not have enough icing, and I thought I think they have a pretty reasonable amount no, of no. icing. I, I'm saying the opposite, where too, too much, much ice. Icing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, and it's kind of like more of the, it's not quite fondant, but it's kind it's of like, like that. It's the shit icing. It's the yeah. Safeway, like, gross. It's, like... it's kind of like crusty. Now, if mm. it's a good cake pop, you don't have to worry about that. But I'm not always so sure at Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> That's my recipe. Cake, cake corsola. Cake sola, if you will. I love it. Uh, I'm going to review the rest of the recipes <laughs> from... Um, um, from Ian, we have uh, Corsola Watermelon Jelly. Um, from uh, Ben, we have Corsola Tapioca Pudding. Uh, from Evan, we have Corsicola, but it actually tastes like ginger beer. Um, and from me, we have uh, Corsola Champagne uh, so uh, Cake. So vote. And then Evan, you're telling us who's winning this week. I am. And wouldn't you know it, I'm the winner this week. Yeah. Followed by a vote for Jeremy and a vote for Ben. Sorry, Ian. <laughs> I guess I was canceled too. <laughs> <laughs> we got him. We, we got, got him. him. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Hey, wow. Real quick. Two. Yeah. I just like one's a brain blast, one is a brain past, if you will. <laughs> oh, shit. Welcome to Braincast. Oh, fuck! Ian, the last episode really delivers, huh? Ian, Ian, you better fucking start blasting me. All right. The the brain blast is, uh, you know how much we love loud foods? Of course. Yes. I know how much you love loud foods. Loud beverage. That's Uh, the new beverage. Oh. It's only loud when you drink it. (laughs) (laughs) Aside from just obnoxious gulps. Yeah, so you make like slurping noises when you drink it? No, well, the like, beverage itself has to be. The beverage itself has to make noise. Every yeah. time, you, like, uh, the glug mechanism in your throat goes off, <laughs> it's like an explosion. Is it? Like and is so? Out. Is it the drink itself that has to be loud, or is it like the the delivery mechanism? Like, is this the loudest crack you've ever heard? And like, does it have one of those like Ramune marbles in it that just like jingles around <laughs> when you drink it? <laughs> Oh man, I forgot about those. <laughs> Whatever that drink is, the one with the blue cap, you know. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Um, I want both because we <laughs> there's the dichotomy of like loud to the table and loud to the mouth. Yeah, and you want it. You want to conquer both of those worlds. I yeah. See. So like, I do. I love the idea of like, um, uh, maybe like you bring it to the table and it has the marble in there. It's jangled. <laughs> Uh, taking the lid off was like really, really loud. And then maybe it has like, um, you know, like those motorcycle bike tassels? Like, tassels? Like guys will just like put a rope on like basically on one of their ha- or both of their handles and they flop in the wind. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm picturing like one of those also hanging off the bottle. And that, Did that make it louder? <laughs> well, it has little jangles at the. It has, like, oh, a, okay, okay. Like, it's like just married bells on the back of the uh-huh. car. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's great. But I also want to like, <laughs> it's going into my mouth and it's like a thousand pop rocks just burst. <laughs> All at once. Yeah. I imagine wow. like Ian's like on an airplane and they reveal that they have this beverage and Ben's sitting next to Ian and Ian's oh just like clanking his ball in his <laughs> in his glass and then it's like it's like time to take another sip and it's like <laughs> as he's like drinking it into his mouth. They start crying on the plane. Yes, I would start crying. <laughs> My brain passed. So the brain blast kind of like took me back here. Loud drink. Um I ordered fajitas. Mm, uh, loud food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It came to the table cool. silent. <gasps> what? Just send it back. Well, just that's like what that. Ask you guys, do you think like you can send back like because it, it wasn't cold. It was a very fine temperature. It just didn't. <laughs> you're like, sorry, this isn't loud enough. Can you take it back? Well, right. I mean, like you, you have like, like a microphone. You're like the dBs are too low yeah. on this one. <laughs> Fajitas are, are at least four dollars more than like the cheapest item on the menu True. at any restaurant. True. Mm-hmm. That extra four bucks is like for the aesthetic, for the experience. Yeah. That's true. That did you did you deliver. get it served in like a little cast iron or like what? Yeah. 
It was a wow. cast. It was, it was at. Um, well, I'm not gonna put them on blast because oh, I don't want to like shit. ruin the reputation of this restaurant. But seriously, that is one concern with this show is when we talk about <laughs> local places in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's crazy stuff starts to happen. You have hundred Yelp reviews. Yeah, exactly. We've shut restaurants down. <laughs> we we, we, we canceled. canceled. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so many times. The, the, uh, we keep the initials for our show the same, but the C stands for cancel now. I cancel you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's how we get a bit. That's how we get to the fucking charts, baby. Yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, so do you think you should be able to return perfectly fine, edible, hot fajitas, but they don't sizzle? No. I mean, if it, I yeah, would, if it tastes good and if it's warm, like if it were cold, I'd be like, yeah, yeah hey, what, what's up with this? But if my if food was edible, cold, I would, I would be like, OK, send this back, especially if it's at a New Mexican restaurant and your plate doesn't come out. And the guy's like, careful, your plate's hot. Then I don't know about that. It's ice cold when you yes. actually bite it. <laughs> it's a frozen waffle kind of situation. <laughs> be careful. It's cold. Yes. <laughs> oh, you ordered the waffles? Yes. <laughs> Got like a big bucket of liquid nitrogen that they dipped yeah. them into by your, by your table. Shatters when it hits the table. Yeah. yeah. And you have like, and instead of a fork and knife, you have a hammer. God. Um, Evan, do you eat the cold waffles with syrup? I've been known to. Not, 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 not drenched. I'll like, I'll like do a little like dab. Do you? Do you eat it with your hands or with a fork? Uh, hands. <laughs> with your hands. I'm not wasting a fork on that. No. Hot, hot syrup or cold syrup? Ooh. God, so it sounds so icy. Just like... <laughs> it's a great summertime treat, Ben. Let you know. <laughs> okay. I mean, well, when, again, when we go to your wedding, it better be fucking there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna serve you guys cold waffles at brunch. Cold ego waffles. <laughs> I mean, if we were doing it with your favorite fucking foods, I guess it would be that. Yeah. <laughs> that the theme. Man, you think you know a guy. Yeah, I guess. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, um, that's all That's all well and good. Um, Ian, I would say, personally, wouldn't send back the fajitas if it was still hot. They still probably tasted uh, fine in, uh, in that regard. Um, a loud beverage um, might be annoying for other people, but it might be fun if you want to be a little stinker. So, mm. all right, I think it should be legal. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, all right. Well, uh, that was uh, the show, I guess. Um, we usually do Waylord's Mail Horde now, uh, but we don't have any emails this week because everyone was busy. We That's don't have fine. any fans this week. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Send us in some fucking emails. Oh, geez, this is so aggressive. I mean, they, <laughs> listen, every week you don't write in, you're beaching you a whale. <laughs> um, <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, let us pick next week's Pokemon. In this section, I like to call Pikemon. We want to move up to Generation 3, look at one we perhaps uh, haven't done yet, and think about, hey, we should this do this. This is for this. episode 196. Yes. The inverted 69, 196. Hmm. <laughs> did we do... Ooh, did we about? do Breloom or Shroomish? It, we did. Yeah. We, have we done Have we did. done either Gulpin or Swalot? Gulpin would be pretty Gulpin good. Swalot. Yeah. Or I think those would, those would be fun. They have a mustache, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that guy. All right. I'm, I'm cool with that. Should Which one? Swalot? Gulpin or Swalot? It's got a lot I mean, to work Swal with. But Gulpin's funnier, but Swalot has a like an Argyle sweater. Mm. <laughs> All right, actually, so now we'll that I think about it, they're very eating-based Pokemon, so it's kind of like yes. you have to. That's true. <laughs> yes, we do have to do that. Who eats the eating Pokemon? Ooh. <laughs> give me, give me Gulpin. Oh, Gulpin! You want Gulpin now? I mean, I, I feel I was just pointing out the qualities. Uh -huh. Okay. But Gulpin's funnier. Shapes. We can gulp gulpin next week. Yes. Yeah, we we be gulpin. <laughs> Every week we gulp in. Um anyway. So God, his face is really odd, his, actually. His hands are literally ball sacks. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. Well, well it's, it's mouth and nose. <laughs> is that a mouth and nose or is that two no, lips? That's what I thought it was two lips too. I thought it was lips too. It, it'd be, Ow. Yeah. No, I you're, yeah, I think it does both. 
<laughs> it does bounce. So it actually, it actually went for your nose. Um, yeah, it, if you look right there, it actually does both of them. So that's yeah. that's the good thing about it, actually. <clears throat> Excellent. Well, send in your gulpin recipes next week to ichispot at gmail.com. All right, time to do plugs. Tell us where we can find you on the internet, Ben. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Ben C. Montoya. And you can follow me on Tumblr at thefearandnow.tumblr.com. Let's do Ian. Um, you can find me playing bass in Kinky Boots. Ooh. That last two weekends of June, uh, Tri Millennial Productions in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Ooh. Buy tickets today. Damn. Ooh. All right. Might have to buy tickets today. Maybe not today, but I'll get you a week. couple. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Evan. Uh, yeah, if you happen to be in uh, in Tokyo between now and May 30th, I'm uh, in an art exhibition uh, at Meteor. It's a little tiny art gallery and, and shop in, in Tokyo. Uh, it's called the My Famicase exhibition. I've, I've got a, a little fictitious game art up in there with a bunch of 250 other artists. So, yeah, check it out. Hell yeah. Excellent. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Velocity Prime one on what should we call it uh tumblr at velocity prime no one uh so that's uh the social medias and make sure to check out the-avocado.org for all of your uh delightful uh writings the-avocado.org jeremy zelig so that's uh that's where you can find me uh and i guess that wraps it up for the show so let me do the wrap up this has been i choose you the podcast about cooking and eating pokemon you can find us on your favorite podcasting apps including uh apple Podcasts, google play stitcher spotify or your podcast catcher of choice if you like our show make sure to give us a five-star review on apple Podcasts and spotify to help us go up the ranks if you want more i choose you goodness may you got to check out the um uh, official social media pages i choose pod on facebook twitter instagram youtube and tiktok if you want to be a part of the I Choose You community, join up the I Choose You Discord. The Discord has events, talking to each other, submit recipes, all that kind of stuff on the I Choose You Discord. Episodes are in, uh, excuse me, links are in the episode description. Uh, lastly, but not leastly, check out the, um, what is what we like to know, the official I Choose You website. That's I Choose You dot menu. I Choose You dot menu has a full episode archive and merch store designed by one Evan Aubrey. Once again, that's I Choose You dot menu. And I think that about covers it. So for the show, I've been your host, uh, Jeremy Zielik and Alton Brown of the group. I've been your friend on the show, Ben Montoya. I've been Ian Davis, the Cherry Garcia. And a, a slightly sun-baked Evan Aubrey. Mm. And to all the choosies out there in Radioland, in a while, toe to dial. <laughs>